All right, guys, uh, 1887 Thresher. There is uh, Highway 98, so you're on the south side. The one that I sold, uh, that I was telling y'all about, south side of 98, is uh, Commander Harvey, so one street over. Um, but it dead ends, these are nice houses on the street, um, dead ends into the water and a lot of uh, land for sale. So this is uh, more of a custom home than what we've been looking at. So it is built up. I will have to see what the insurance costs are because that could be a heavy expense being this close to the water. The guys uh, on Commander Harvey, they're at the front of the street closest to 98 and theirs was like 2,500 a year. But this house is newer. So 10 foot doors and the entryway, beautiful. A lot of cool stuff in here. So. It's all bullnose corners, nice archways, bullnose corner, it's not a sharp edge. So no upgrades needed in this house, no popcorn. 10 or 12 foot ceilings, I mean, they're up there. So it feels really big and nice. I mean, nice floors, LVP, so luxury vinyl planking. This might be the LVT that Ashley was talking about, but uh, kitchen. Upgraded appliances in 2020. They're black, but they're like a slate. Really cool. Nice cabinets. I'm going to zoom out. That's as far as I can zoom out. But I mean, everything is nice. Laundry room. I love this garage because everything is built up, right? So you got stairs going down. And you got... He's got a pool table in here. So you can kind of keep that theme going. Super cool. Um, let's see what this closet is. Just a utility storage. And then I'll just keep on rolling through. Breaker panels, obviously good. 2016, so no issues there. And then here is the living room area. Master, it does have a different floor. But good transition, looks good. Big master, that I love the, the beach theme of the paint there. Bathroom, I mean, it's, it's sick, it's moving ready. Love the pocket door for the washroom. Tile shower, tub, recess lighting, nice closet space. Let's see what this is gonna be just a linen closet. <laughs> Very nice. We'll go to the guest wing of the house. Trade ceiling, I love it. And it's got like a beachy feel. Love the lighthouse doors. You could call it the lighthouse. Easy. You're welcome. I'm gonna patent that. So they're using this as an office space, but big room. Doesn't look super big, but they did uh, this same uh, LVP in this room. Guest bath. So this one, the difference is about 254 a foot. The other one that we just looked at on Falling Leaf, it's 209 a foot. So obviously the major difference is the pool and then the other one's bigger, but also older. So I'm sure this one's going to be multiple offer situation. Ream HVAC updated thermostat. Um, so I'm the first one in here. The other showing is at 1130. So we got some cracking on the pavement. It's perfectly normal in Florida because everything we build is essentially built on sand. So here's the deck. I'll be hitting up Ash to answer that question you had, Chris, about the swimming pool. But honestly, like people just want a place to chill, right? So like, I don't think you're gonna get any negative feedback on, oh, it wasn't a real in-ground pool. They got a shower out here, have their people clean off the sand before they come back in, hopefully, ideally got a iron in the water there's a filtration system to prevent the orange stuff you see there it's relatively inexpensive 
Um, let's see if there's a pour on this. I'm gonna, no, but there's room to park or uh, to pour something for RV parking on the side if that's something that makes sense from an Airbnb perspective. I don't know. Cool swing. Nice pavers underneath. Storage shed. This is the pool. It's going to convey as is, so if there's anything wrong with it, they won't fix it most likely. That's a really cool umbrella. I like that at my house. That's like a, I think that's a metal pergola. It doesn't look like wood. Yeah, metal. Definitely want to tie that down during a hurricane. Um, and then this shed out here, nice fencing. Good size yard, pretty awesome setup. The solar panels, they said they'll pay off with a full price offer. The shed's like brand new. Lots of storage. I mean, you guys could use it for the exact same thing. Have a lock on it, rent out coolers, rent out wagons, rent out, you know, basically all the stuff you would use yourself to go to the beach. Kayaks, just more money.